Hi, tubers. It's been an awesome, slightly important. So, uh, it's going to be Fruit Salad right now. So, uh, today is Fruit Salad by Gastigar. Talk about this for now, uh, rye flour. So, uh, what is rye flour? So, rye flour is a type of flour, that kind of crap, you know, uh, and basically it's very common, uh, very damn common. Uh, it's not quite as common as, say, wheat flour, nice big ass wheat flour, like the big ass cigar, uh, just being silly ass, like the big ass cigar. Uh, but, uh, rye flour is very common. Uh, it's a lot more common than, like, you know, the flowers I've been covering recently. There are a lot less, you know, less common, like brown rice flour, that kind of crap, you know, that kind of shit. So uh, it's a very common flour. You can find it in most stores, you know, most major grocery stores. I'm not saying you'll find this shit, you know, in a, like a little convenience store, like a little like 7-Eleven, uh, that kind of shit, you know, as in bullshit is bullshit, you know. Uh, but obviously, like any major grocery store, like Walmart, uh, <clears throat> like Price Chopper, you'll find that shit in there. So uh, um, now rye flour is not gluten-free because rye contains gluten. Same thing as wheat, same thing as barley. It's one of the most common, um, you know, components of being gluten, you know, wheat, barley, and rye. So, obviously, I couldn't have it because I'm celiac, and people who are celiac have to follow a strict gluten-free diet, and the only time I could eat, you know, or consume uh, rye would be distilled alcohol. So, like rye whiskey, for example, you know, I could I could consume rye whiskey because it's distilled, and the distilling process burns off the alcohol, but that's beside the point because I'm talking about, you know, freaking rye flour. So, uh, in terms of rye flour, it's definitely something I can't have personally, but in the past, you know, before I went gluten-free, I've had rye bread before. I don't prefer it myself. Even before I went gluten free, before I knew I had celiac. I personally don't prefer rye flour It's or rye bread. It's a taste I personally don't like. It has kind of a funky taste to it, kind of a weird-ass taste like the big-ass cigar. And I just don't prefer the taste of rye in general. So when I used to eat, you know, non-gluten-free flours, non-gluten-free breads, pastas, etc., all that kind of shit, you know, as in bullshit is bullshit, you know, I used to, you know, have like whole wheat bread or like whole wheat uh, pasta, that kind of shit. So as in bullshit is bullshit. So uh, I'm not a big fan of the taste of rye, but I mean, that's just my personal opinion, like my assholes, like, you know, that's just my personal opinion, it's like, you know, uh, a lot of people love rye, I mean, a lot of people, especially, uh, I think a lot of older people, especially, like the taste of uh, rye, I'm not trying to be, you know, at all, uh, whatever, you know, it's, uh, I just know that a lot of people, you know, uh, definitely like the taste of rye, and it's just a personal taste. I mean, some people love, you know, pasta, some people will hate pasta. I mean, food is all your personal taste. I mean, some people will love food, some people won't. I mean, I'm getting off topic here, but you get the freaking point. So, uh, uh, rye flour is very damn common. It's very freaking common, and you can find it in pretty much any kind of major department store. It's very freaking common, actually pretty fucking common. So, uh, anyway, pretty fucking cool. Bye.